Grok is a great example of how these companies operate. Because in order to train Grok, Elon Musk set up a supercomputer called Colossus in the Memphis, Tennessee area and completely hijacked local democratic processes to put it up as quickly as possible and start powering it with unlicensed methane gas turbines that are now pummeling that area with huge amounts of air pollution, talking about black and brown communities. And so, yes, there are thing there are certainly interesting utilities that come out of these tools and there's certainly people that actually benefit a lot from using these tools but the supply chain of producing these tools has already illustrated to us the logic of what's happening here which is that these companies don't actually care about preserving people's right to even clean air in order to ultimately produce something that they are trying to use to then accumulate more data and get more money.